something in the first piece that I think applies to the second piece. So the first piece you played is Takatina. What happens, this is a question for you guys, feel free to answer. 
What happens in this section from measure 13 going, let's say, all the way to 46? Feel free to just shut it up. Don't be shy. Don't bite. You guys are too shy. So let's take a look at that symbol P in the seconds and the VOs at measure 13. And then at 15, we have an MP. And then at 24, we have an MF. And then we have a DIM at 32. And then at 36, we have a P followed by the word C-R-E-S-C. And then all of a sudden at 38, we have an F. What are those called? <coughs> Say it so everybody in the orchestra and the audience can hear you. Dynamics. Dynamics, ladies and gentlemen, are basically gradations in volume. So P would be soft, F forte would be loud. So this is what I want to work on with you guys, because everything that I'm hearing tends to kind of have this really nice middle level of volume. And I think, especially with the, the large amount of people that comprise this orchestra, that we can make a bigger sound, and we can also make a softer sound at the same time. So I may, may I just have those of you that play from 13, and we're just gonna play a little bit. 13 starts P, or piano, soft. that you did that crescendo going into 24. One of the things that I think in terms of generating volume in an orchestra is that the bigger instruments can help us make the bigger sound. So that's you guys, right? This half, I should say this quarter of the room. <laughs> so basses and cellos, when we have crescendos, when we have gradations and dynamics where the volume is going up, play more. And sometimes that just simply means using more bow. But the other thing that will help with this whole passage, I think, is two things. I think you guys can play this faster. Probably want to play it faster a little bit, right? So if we can play it a little bit faster, but if we open up our ears and we um, match the articulation from one another. So let's go back to 13. And let's open up our ears and see if we can find the right length of the da 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 da. Because some of us are playing it a little bit long, ya da da da, and some of us are playing da 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 da. We're using different variations of bow length. Okay, so here's 13. <laughs> Good, can I have 15, da 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 da. Da 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 very short, very, very short. And I know you guys are playing this on, on the string, but think almost as if the sound is set each note is separate. Da 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 just the violins at fifteen. Three, four. So do you hear already in sixteen you're playing a little bit longer? Da da di da da di da da di di di. But the first notes you guys played at good length. Da 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 da. Try to take that same length of the note and apply it to measure 16 as well. Da da di da da di di di. Da da di da 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 di da 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 da. Here's 13. Excuse me, 15. Pardon me. 15. Three and short. Maybe using a little bit more bow with the crescendo da da di da 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 will help us. Can I just hear 14 with a little bit more bow? Without you guys. 14, three, and 
four, uh, excuse me, not 14, 24, pardon me. Name 24, 23, 23, three, four. Good, now let's play 24, just those notes. Da, 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 but use more bow. Three, four. Good, that is your mezzo forte. Will you remember that? For the violins, that is, register that dynamic that you played, and how that felt, that's your new mezzo forte, okay? Everybody please, from 13, everybody. Matching articulation, matching note length, and creating a big sound from the bass up. Three, four. together at 36. Piano, crescendo, and then cellis and the basses are taking over as the bosses, okay, of the volume. Here's 36, starting softly, right? And make a big crescendo. Three, and. One of the problems that I notice, and it happens in professional orchestras, it happens in college level orchestras, really advanced groups too, is that if we want to play a sound Together, we have to start with the bow already on the string. If we start with the bow above the string, we're not gonna be together, okay? So if we start at 36, everybody's bow already be on the string. Not above, but on the string. Here's 36. Three, four. Yeah. Three minutes? Three minutes. Can we jump to the other piece? This was all very good. And I'd like to just take a look at the moderato section, which is, which is bar 10. Can we just play it a little bit? Remember, we're going to start from this string, right? Three, four. Basses and Celli, can you give the, us that same punch that you did in the other piece? Ba ba ba, ba ba ba, and then first and second violins. Yep, ba da 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 da. Right from the beginning, very confident. And we also have to take into consideration the different articulations that he writes. In that first note, he already writes an accent mark, and he writes a staccato dot, and he writes the word marcato, which means that he wants a very short style of playing, right? So dum ba da dee da dee da 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 dum ba da dee da da. Take a look at those articulations. They're equally as important as the dynamic. Okay, from the beginning of uh, bar ten. Three, four. Good. 
good. Good. The last thing I'll say is, can I just have the cellos and the basses at bar 14 and really use a big accent, dong, and come away with a little bit of bow pressure, dong, fast bow, and just ease up at the end of the note. So we get a big diminuendo. Bar 14. Three, four. Good. Now play those last two eighth notes strong. So you have bum, ba ba bum. You try that? Three, four. So the idea is that when you play the half note, you make a diminuendo. Just go with the direction of the bow as you go to the tip. Bum, ba ba bum. Everybody for the last time from bar 10, then we'll stop. Three, four. We have to stop. You guys have done a great job. Thank you, Ms. Puckett. Aren't they great? <laughs>